Open the Brookstone Smart app and select your connected smart camera or video doorbell. From the control panel screen of your camera, you can select screenshot, photo album, speak, record, playback, alarm, cloud storage, or direction, if you have the pan and tilt Wi-Fi camera. On the HUD of your live footage screen, you can mute or unmute the audio you hear, change from high definition to standard definition, make the camera footage full screen, and you can also see the Wi-Fi signal strength. You always want to have a strong signal for your camera. When you select screenshot, your smart camera will take a screenshot of what is currently on the live stream. Your screenshot will go into the photo album section of the app. You will need to allow access to your phone's camera roll to enable this. When you press the speak button, it allows you to speak through the camera's microphone and anyone in the room with the camera can hear you. You will need to allow access to your phone's microphone to enable this. Press the record button to record live footage of your camera's feed. When you record video from your camera's feed the recorded video goes into the photo album section of your camera. You can access this by selecting photo album on the main control panel screen of your smart camera. You will need to allow access to your phone's camera roll to enable this. If you would like to download a recorded clip to your phone, you can do that from here. Press the clip you would like to save, and then press the icon in the bottom left corner. You can also delete the clip by pressing the trash icon in the bottom right corner. Next, you can select playback to see your past recorded footage. You will need to insert a micro SD card into your camera to access recorded footage this way. Depending on the memory size of the micro SD card installed you will have more or less video recorded. You can go into the options of the camera by pressing the icon in the top right corner. Then select storage settings. You will need to have local recording turned on to record to the micro SD card. On this screen, you can also see the total memory capacity, memory used, and the remaining memory capacity. Select event recording to only record footage that is triggered by detected motion. If you select non-stop, your camera will record video 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Once your memory card fills up, it will start deleting the oldest footage on your micro SD card. You can also add a schedule if you want it to record just at a certain time. On this screen at the bottom you can press format to format your micro SD card. You can also use cloud storage instead of a micro SD card. Press the cloud storage button to see the pricing options. The cloud storage plans will bill you every month based on your plan. You can change the motion detection settings by pressing the alarm button. From here, you can turn it on or off and adjust the sensitivity of the sensor. You can also set a schedule of when you want motion detected. If you have the pan and tilt Wi-Fi camera, you can also turn on motion tracking. This will allow the camera lens to move and follow any motion it detects so you won't miss anything. And lastly, if you have the pan and tilt Wi-Fi camera, you can select direction. This will give you complete control over what direction the camera lens is pointed at. From the home page of the app, if you have multiple cameras connected, select the camera icon in the top corner. From there, you can see the footage of all of your cameras at once and control them. Depending on your model of camera, it probably has night vision. To access the night vision settings, click on one of your cameras and then click the settings button in the top right corner. Then select IR night vision. From here you can choose to have it automatically turn on and off based on the light in the room, or you can manually have it on or off. If you click on basic function settings, you can turn on or off the status light on the actual camera. This is good if you don't want your camera to be noticeable with a light on all the time. You can also flip the screen 180 degrees in case you have your camera mounted upside down. The time watermark on the live feed can be turned on or off here as well. 
At the bottom you can choose which talk mode you would like. Go back to the settings screen and select device information to see information about the camera. If you are having problems with your camera, we might ask for information from this page. If you select the name at the top of the settings screen, you can also rename your camera, change the icon that shows in your app, and assign a location of your camera to a room. 